Well, the other the other moment of humor that sticks in my mind from from Nocturnes, which I suppose also has its pathos, but it is is richly absurd, is uh, in Nocturne, the story where an aging celebrity and a tenor sax player who is having pl- both of whom have, have had plastic surgery are roaming around a hotel at night with bandaged faces and they end up stuffing a jazz award inside the cavity of a turkey in the hotel in a hotel function room <laughs> and i wondered you you may say again i'm being sort of over metaphorical but if this was you saying something about you know celebrity culture and award ceremonies is that, is that, is that also reading <laughs> too much into it <laughs> Well, I wasn't. I, w- I wouldn't want to overemphasize the symbolism there. I mean, the the, the the situation just develops where that becomes a a logical and normal, a uh, fairly rational kind of thing to be doing at that point in the story. I suppose part of the thing of comedy is that you, know, you take the reader step by step, and each step seems perfectly rational and sensible. It's only when after the accumulation of steps. Uh, have taken place and, and you suddenly get a perspective on it that, that you realize you've ended up somewhere ridiculous and that that's I suppose a comedy in, in Nocturnes often goes like that and you're right I mean I, I was concerned about celebrity culture I, I wasn't wanting to make any huge definitive statements about it but this this need to to be a celebrity or perhaps you know to be seen to be succeeding in some kind of big public world is a pressure all these characters feel to some extent even the ones who aren't musicians and it's just there and a lot of the more drastic decisions people make um, they make because they're under that pressure they make very distorted decisions um, but uh, that, that did fascinate me because it said something about once again about how people think of themselves as failures or successes and how when people tell themselves that they fulfilled some dream and they should be satisfied and and when they say to themselves well no it's not enough yet you know i have to keep on going there's something about the um about the modern world that we live in and, and i think we still live in it now um that makes it very hard for people to settle for for what they have um we're bombarded with um possibilities all the time um, that, that's partly because of, of good things you know I think society has opened out both geographically and and in terms of social mobility compared to say 100 years ago but it does mean that we're that everyone is kept hungry you know why, why haven't you why don't you take a course and improve yourself and um, and become something else altogether you know, why don't you just leave this person you you've been married to and and trade up and I mean that, that feeling that you know you shouldn't be satisfied with where you are it's, it's this kind of nagging feeling that uh, I see a lot of people succumbing to and the sense that it's within your power to change it and in, in a way it's sort of incumbent upon you to change it like the, the the jazz musician who is 39 is still potentially up and coming but this is really his last chance and he does it by this sort of grotesque method of, of plastic surgery in order to break through Yes, well, in that, in that particular case, he he's pushed into it. I mean, he doesn't want to do this, you know. But the the, the pressures of of the world all around him, his his wife who's leaving him, his manager, everyone says, "Look, I mean, you know, it's almost like a a, mo- a moral imperative. You're not really making enough of yourself unless you give it a proper go, and that means, you know, get your face better because you're not going to be a success in the in this glamorous world." in the show business you know unless you, you're less ugly and so he finally gives in and that's what he's doing you know and at another in another story that there's a, a once successful singer who because he's getting old I mean, he, he feels he needs to make a comeback and he needs to to some extent ditch his ditch the wife he still loves because he has to he has to along with a comeback goes a whole, whole lot of new things you know a new image a younger wife and so on it's not a book that's kind of necessarily going out and out to criticize the values by which we live but the, i mean the, the, but those values are very much there in that world and and people people have to to measure their sense of success and failure according to those prevalent values <laughs>